welcome back to episode 9 of Rebuilding the Bridge. I'm Jake and today we've got a massive Champions League semi-final. I'm going to be showing you both legs against Real Madrid and we'll skip the Southampton game in between that you can see on the right side of your screen. Since the Atletico Madrid game in the Champions League in the last episode, we beat Reading 3-1 in the FA Cup semi-final which gives us a final against Bournemouth on the last day of the season. Uh, we drew 0-0 to like really low on the table Norwich, which wasn't good at all. We had so many chances and couldn't finish them. And then luckily Ross Barkley saved us in a 1-0 away match against Crystal Palace, which in terms of the league, if you imagine Liverpool win their game, then we are six points clear with three games to go. So really, we should have it. We should have the league in the bag, which is amazing considering where we were at the start of the season, worrying if we were even going to get fourth, fifth or sixth place. So... Really good from us. Uh, this Champions League match is kind of a, I wouldn't say throwaway, but we're going into both of these legs as like the underdog, the clear underdog. Not expected to do well at all. The other semi final is Barcelona against Manchester City. So I reckon we could take Man City if it got to a Man City final, but we'd have to beat Real Madrid first, which is going to be very, very tough. The team for today is. Abraham up front, Werner's still not fully fit yet, so he's on the bench, ready to come on if we need him. Uh, Sancho on the left, Mount, Pulisic, it's our preferred, from, our preferred front line, with Jorginho and Kante, our two preferred midfielders too. Emerson, Zuma, and then Rudiger's gone to centre-back because Tamori is now at right-back because Reese James is injured and so is Asper the Quota, meaning our bet next best right-back, according to the squad depth uh, screen, was Tamori, so he's going to play there. And then Rudiger comes in instead of Christensen, purely for preference. So, yeah, that's the team. Like I say, not expecting to win it, but we're going to go out and do our best. It's the away leg first, so just stay in the tie, I suppose. Pick up a goal or two, so we have some away goals to build on at home. Where Because at home, I feel like we could do some damage, but right now, it's just about staying in the tie. So, let's get into the game. So, just before we start, guys, here's the Real Madrid lineup. As you can see, they've got... Benzema, Bale, and their best player is Eden Hazard, who, obviously, ex-Chelsea, we only just sold him this season. I'm sure he's going to score against us. Tony Cruz, Modric, Casemiro, Marcelo, Ramos, Varane, Milichal, and Courtois. So, a very, very good squad there from Real Madrid. You can't really get much better than that. And I'm assuming our tactics might not work too well against them, because this is the same tactics that Liverpool play, and that's when we seem to struggle against this uh, fourth. One, two, three, uh, football manager seems to call it. So yeah, we'll go straight into the game. Let's tell the players. They always seem to respond to that one. The media are giving you a lot of credit. They obviously really like the media. At least there's, there's someone who does. Okay, so let's get into the match. Like I say, guys, there is going to be two games in this episode, so we will be keeping it on key highlights to keep it short. And straight away, we've got a highlight with Real Madrid here. Marcelo trying to put a cross in, but Emerson heads it away. It looks like they're going to come straight back at us. We 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 are definitely the underdogs here, but you never know. As we Tamori scored no goal. Oh my word! It's not to do with my choice of putting him at right back. It's just a general what the hell was that? Because I'm pretty sure he's just headed in from pretty much outside his own box. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, poor from Kepa too, I suppose, but. Is what it is. I don't understand how their match rating hasn't gone down either of them for that. An awful start for us, really. That's really put us in a tough position now. As Casemiro goes close for Real Madrid. See, it's silly mistakes like that that we need to cut out because that's going to cost us in this match. Real Madrid with a corner now, Modric taking. Gareth Bale with a header just over. Whew. See, this, this is just not, the good, not a good start. We're being battered too. This is not what we wanted at all. And that Tamori head has just kind of topped it off in terms of our look. Cruz now. Picking it up after a failed Real Madrid corner. Can we counter-attack on them? No. Hazard's playing it through to Bale. I assume Hazard's going to dictate this game. As Benzema hits it in from the Millichal cross. Really isn't good from his here. Is it bad I'm already considering making a sub and changing our tactics? This just isn't working at all. Gareth Bale plays the ball in. Oh no, he plays it to Melishaw and then it's a good finish from Benzema, but yeah, you know what? I'm going to change the tactics. Uh, we'll go to the 
counter-attack system. I should have maybe started with this. Kante can drop here. Does that work any better? Yeah, there we go. We'll just we'll play like that. See if it makes any difference at all. Actually, should I quickly... I'm going to play Sancho on his preferred side. I don't care if Pulisic doesn't play as well on the other one. Sancho's been playing really well on the right, so we need something to get us back into this game because we are being dominated right now. Show some passion, come on. Just one chance would be nice. Because if we can get an away goal here and it's a 2-1 win to Real Madrid, that's fine going into the home leg. But it looks like it's just all going to be Real Madrid today. As Hazard goes on his own, thankfully doesn't score, puts it just over. As N'Golo Kante picks up a booking. Come on, boys, we need to be better than this. As Mason Mount takes a free kick for us. And it looks like Zuma's been fouled. Have we got a penalty? We have. Now, Jorginho hasn't had the best record from penalties recently. But he's the best penalty taker we've got. And this is where he really, really needs to score it. And he's missed again. Jorginho. He missed against Oblak in the other Champions League game you saw in the last episode. And now that would have been a crucial away goal for us. But no. Oh, Courtois too. Getting a penalty save against his former club. Not good enough. At all. I can't believe that from Jorginho. That is the exact thing that we needed to get back in the game. It's Abraham. Yes, Abraham gets one goal back. Straight after half time. I'm going to blame that all on my team talk. Mount with the ball in. Rudiger heads it and then Abraham. Oh, it's a good goal. It's a good set piece goal from us there. And it gives us the away goal that we crucially needed that Jorginho has already messed up for us. But now we've got it. So we can take that forward. And if we can keep it at this scoreline, that's fine. But if we can get another away goal, because we are now growing in the game that would be brilliant okay we're going to take Sancho off bring on David Neres see what he can do for us I also I'm considering replacing Mason Mount in the starting lineup with Ross Barkley in the last few games because Ross Barkley's been absolutely brilliant not Mount but Mount hasn't been bad but Ross Barkley's just been amazing and I'm, I'm wondering whether he can be the thing to give us a difference as we need one more sub here we're going to bring off Jorginho because he's had a poor game and switch him with Mount. And then purely for his pace, we're going to bring Werner on. Abraham got the goal. He did well today. But in terms of a counter-attacking system, maybe Werner will suit it better. Still, 2 ones not bad if we're going to see this out. But now Real Madrid have got a free kick with Eden Hazard. We've headed it away and we could break now with Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho going at the Real Madrid defence. He's gone past one. He's played for Timo Werner. Timo Werner scored! Yes, it's 2-2. Two -two. What a goal. Well played, Jaden Sancho. Brilliant finish by Timo Werner. That's just what we wanted. I said we wanted to bring Werner on for the counter-attacks. We've done just that. I thought he was going to be offside for a second, but he holds his run well. It's actually a Varane tackle that plays Werner through. And that change of system, it might have been done early on, but it has helped us out here. We should have started with it. And 2-2 with two -two is a brilliant result in an away leg against Real Madrid. Two away goals to take home. And now there's another highlight a few minutes before the end here with Benzema. If we can see it again, it's not the end of the world, but hopefully we can keep it as a draw. Rodrigo shot is at Kepa, that's all it is. It's nice and easy. Let's just see the game out. Can I say concentrate? No, 2-2. Two, two. Well, considering we were 2-0 down being dominated, I'm absolutely delighted with that. And now I think we do actually stand... I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're going to win the league should win the league. We should really win the FA Cup against Bournemouth. We were in the Carabao Cup final, which we could have won. We're in the Super Cup final, which we could have won. And now we could be going, not to get too ahead of myself, but the Champions League final too. This is great. Like, I've played football manager for years and I've never done this well. It's not never usually this easy, especially when I haven't signed anyone until the January window. And we've probably been worse since January, to be honest. So this is crazy to think about. So I'll see you in the next game. Hopefully we can get to the final, and yeah, I, I don't understand where that's came from, but 2-2, two, two, brilliant result, well done Abraham, well done Werner, our striker's getting the goals, and I'll see you in the next part. Hello guys, welcome back, we're just before the second leg, and just to quickly update you, we did win the game in between these two legs against Southampton 5-0 with a rotation team, Alonso, Loftus-Cheek, Neres, all scoring screamers. Now, um, in terms of the other semi-final that's going on against Barca... Barcelona and Man City it was. 
Man City have beat them in both occasions across both legs, so they are now in the final. Now, we are, we are about to play them in the game after this in the Premier League, where if we pick up any points, we will win the league. So pretty much we've won the league. I'm expecting to win the FA Cup against Bournemouth. Now, Man City are here in the table on 74 points. We're here on 85. Now, that means overall, uh, over the course of the season, we've been a better team than them, meaning if we can get through this game against Real Madrid, I think this is the tougher match. Then when we play Man City, really, we might be going into that as favourites, which is crazy to think we could be doing the treble in our first season, which is, this isn't what Football Manager is meant to be. This isn't meant to be career mode. It's not meant to be this easy, but everything just seems to have worked this season. Everyone's worked their socks off, performing amazingly. So yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into this final. The team you can see, it's pretty standard. We might be about to qualify for the Champions League final and put ourselves up for a treble. Who knows? Okay, so we're off Real Madrid with a pretty much the same team. They've got Carvajal at right back this time instead, and I don't remember if Valverde played last game. I think Casemiro did. So yeah, pretty much the same team. Even though the counter-attacking tactic worked better for us in the first leg, um, this leg we'd expect to dominate more as we're at home. So I'm sticking with our normal tactic. And here's the first highlight now with David Neres receiving the ball. I mean, I, I don't like the colours I've used there for the two dots. They clash pretty much exactly the same, so... Yeah, with a darker blues, as you would have guessed. Sancho now gets tackled by Marcelo, but Reese James picks it up. Back to Sancho, and Valverde clears. Nothing coming of this chance just yet. With Zuma going all the way back to Kepa. I'm hoping this is a highlight for us, because with the two away goals, if we can get a home goal and take the lead, we'll be looking very strong for getting into this final. And we're still playing it around, but we have now found Emerson on the wing, who tucks it back into David Neres, to Jorginho. With a long shot, Jorginho scores. 1-0, 15 minutes in. What a goal by Jorginho. Makes up for missing the penalty. Let's see in the laggy stickman fashion how he scored it. It looked pretty good on the dots. David Neres lays it off to Jorginho, sets himself up and rifles it right into the top corner. Well played, Jorginho. We're 1-0 up. My word. We're looking like one of the best managers of all time at this rate. As Eden Hazard, though, he picks up the ball, finds Luka Modric, into Benzema. Karim Benzema scored. Oh, maybe not. It's been called offside, I think. Obviously, I couldn't see it, but it looks like, yeah, offside. We'll take that. Still 1-0 up. Going on 25 minutes now. And there's another highlight with David Neres on the left. Again, we seem to be hitting him down the left side. And I think we might have just won a penalty. If we have, I'm not sure whether to put Jorginho on it. We've missed the last four penalties because he did miss one against Southampton too. So this, it's very worrying right now. Because then I have a big decision to make. I would have took Jorginho off, but he has scored this game. So maybe he's got a bit more confidence. We're going to let him do it. Come on, Jorginho. Do it for us. Do it for Chelsea. He steps up. And Courtois saves. He goes the exact same way as he did in the first leg. Jorginho. My word. We need to buy a new penalty taker. Speaking of, we did get the budgets for next season. Bear in mind we had a 130 million transfer budget this season. Next season we've only got a transfer budget of 60 million. So we might have to make a few player sales if we actually want to make any big changes around here. I feel like I pretty much did my summer budget all in January. So yeah, it's not the most money, especially for a team who could be winning the league and Champions League. Oh, and by the way, I originally did plan for this series to end after a few seasons when we finally won the Champions League. But if we're going to do it in the first season and win the league, I don't know where to go from here. I suppose I don't want to leave Chelsea in this series, so I suppose it would just be a couple of seasons of dominance until it becomes so easy that maybe we'll move on to a new series playing as someone else. I suppose we'll see. That's not to worry about just yet. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what the goal is going to be now going ahead. Not to get ahead of myself, because we, we may not even go through here. Or we may lose the final against Man City, but... We've already proven that we're a very, very good squad. It, not much improvement is needed. So, yeah, the boys are excellent. I'm very happy with the way things are. Keep it up, lads. It just said that the players are ready to run through walls for me, which is absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, 40 minutes to go until we could possibly be in the Champions League final. But Real Madrid have a chance now with Bale. They are going to need three goals here in the second half to knock us out. Bale goes past one, but we win it back with Emerson. Kepa needs to just get it away, but he plays it out to James and then back to Kepa. 
So we're playing rings around Real Madrid here. They would have fought it at the beginning of this season, eh? Emerson now on the left, where we've been hurting them the most. Plays it back to Mount. Jorginho, Kante, back to Jorginho. Kante plays with Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham shot! 2-0, 4-2 on aggregate. Tammy Abraham, 20 goals this season. My word, what a performance this is. Jorginho here, plays it to Kante, as you can see. But it's Kante who plays a nice through ball. Abraham then takes a nice finish. Pass Courtois is near post. And if you're a Chelsea fan, you know that's the one place Courtois could never save his near post. Or through his legs in the case of Lionel Messi in the Champions League. But that is absolutely brilliant from us. Uh, and we've got another highlight. Surely we can't beat him 3-0. Bale plays it away only as far as Fikeo Tomori. He's been absolutely fantastic this season despite his 100 yellow cards, whatever he's got. I think he's got another one here today. Sancho plays the ball in. David Neres just over. I think we should make our first sub now. I'm going to bring on Ross Barkley for Mason Mount. And we're going to do all the subs separately just to waste a bit more time. As there's another highlight here with us on the ball again. Again going down Real Madrid's right on our left. Emerson, pass one. Back to Jorginho. Kante, we're finding so much space here. Emerson again. Into the box. And Abraham! Jaden Sancho assists. Tammy Abraham makes it 3-0. The boys of Chelsea are beating Real Madrid 3-0, 5-2 on aggregate. What a performance this is. You can see it here. Emerson picks the ball up on the wing. He's been fantastic this season. Low drive cross. Apparently it's an assist from Sancho. I can't see how. But Abraham has got two in this game. I can't take him off now for Werner because he's going to want his hat trick. We shall bring on Kovacic, purely because Kovacic has been brilliant for us. He can play in this game just to hold the game out. As Rhys James, oh, what have I done here? Rhys James, cover kitch has scored. I accidentally pressed some buttons and we half missed it, but Rhys James played a free kick in and cover kitch, who we just brought on, has scored against his former club and we're now 4 0 up. 6 2 on aggregate. What an amazing performance this is. And Man City are going to be quaking in their boots knowing they've got us in the next round. Let's bring on Pulisic for David Neres, who's had a fine game. Here we are now. He's an elite winger, apparently, David Neres. Ross Barkley with a free kick. Fikeo Tomori, no. Zuma. I think Bale is about to get himself sent off. Is he? Yes, he is. Bale with two yellow cards. He's sent off. We've dominated on this game with Reese James with a free kick. Crosses it in and nothing comes of it. Seems like that's going to be it for this game now. Just tell the boys to concentrate in case they throw away the lead. Champions League final. Here we come. Is the ref going to blow his whistle? Surely not long now. Whoa. Yes, we've done it. We've reached the Champions League final. Dominated Real Madrid. Drew against them in their own back in their own backyard, should I say. If it wasn't for them two goals away, we might not have had the confidence going into this game. Everyone was brilliant there. We're now through to the final. Manchester City in the final, as you can now see. Will be the last game of the season, so I think. Which game should I show you? We're going to do an episode for the Champions League final because we'll do the Champions League final and then the season review after it. So the other episode will probably be the FA Cup final. Now, I suppose you just you should just assume we've won the league, unless I tell you otherwise in the next episode when we come back for the FA Cup final. God, what an amazing season we've had! Just assume we've won the league. I'll bring it back for a different video if it goes down to anything else like if we have to win against Bournemouth to win the league but looking at it we're six points ahead with two games left meaning we just need a point against either Bournemouth at home or Man City away and I think we'll do that the Man City away will be a good test to see how we're going to perform against them in the Champions League final but just that might be some interesting news here Kevin De Bruyne is out for two to four months so we won't be facing him in the final Gabriel Jesus is unregistered, which seems strange. Maybe he had an injury. Either way, De Bruyne is out of the Champions League final and we, Chelsea FC, are in the final. Talk about rebuilding the bridge. We've done a pretty good job of that. So I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. What an amazing episode it's been. Feel free to hit the like button because we performed brilliantly. Come on, we deserve a like. Comment whatever you want. I don't care. And feel free to subscribe. We're uploading daily still. We'll be on our second season soon, almost at 10 episodes now. What a series it's been so far, so thank you for your support. Yeah, hit that subscribe button, come on, you know you want to. 
I'll see you later, guys. Goodbye.